continue our week long back to school coverage and today is the first day of school for students at Poway Unified. Let's go back out live to ABC 10 News anchor Kimberly Hunt at Rancho Bernardo High with more on the excitement and a message from the Biden administration. Kim. There is plenty of excitement out here, Lindsay, and students in the Poway Unified School District are back in the classroom. It is day one and there is plenty of excitement to go around, but it is also coming as the pandemic marches on. And recently I had a chance to sit down with the U.S. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona and ask him how the Biden administration plans to handle this school year as we face more transmissible variants. The expectation is very clear. All schools should be open 100% full time for our students. Our students need more now, uh, not less. So the expectation is fully open. I recognize that uh, different communities are, um, you know, they're responsible for whatever mitigation strategies uh, need to be implemented. But I was on a call yesterday with uh, Dr. Zha from the White House and Dr. Walensky from CDC. And, you know, we're all excited about this upcoming school year knowing that we have uh, vaccinations available for all school uh, age children. We have enough materials available for students. We've asked districts to be prepared in the event of a surge uh, with the expectation that schools stay open. Um, so we're, we're looking forward to a great year. Tell us about the federal government's push to get younger students vaccinated. Yeah, we, well, we know, uh, you know, what we did was we relied very heavily on uh, the trust that families have with their uh, local pediatrician. Right? And we enlisted the support of our pediatrician to communicate with families uh, of the benefits of it and, you know, allay any fears. And while the numbers are not as high as they are for older adults, we want to make sure that uh, our families realize that this is an ongoing effort, that uh, vaccinations are available for youngsters. Um, and if parents are nervous about it, that they should talk to their pediatrician or talk to the school nurse about the benefits of it and, and the safety of it. Uh, we want to make sure students have access to school and are as protected as possible. What's the federal government doing to help with learning loss over the last couple of years? Yeah, you know, I visited uh, 34 states in this last year, and what I hear from parents over and over is, you know, my kids lost a lot. I want them to be caught up. And, and I'm proud that um, across the country, I've seen examples of how the American Rescue Plan dollars have been used to provide after school program for students, uh, not only academic after school programming, but enriching after school program like music and the arts. I've seen summer school programs double and triple in size so that students can be caught up. I've seen uh, mentors and tutors uh, be hired uh, with the American Rescue Plan dollars. Our students need more this year. We cannot expect our students to catch up on what was lost if they go back to a school system that looked like the one in 2020. We need to do better. We have more funding in education now than ever before. And that's the expectation across the country to, to level up our system of education. And budgets are also